You've talked about best player available, and I know that's music to the ears of a lot of people that are your Falcon fans. And um, balancing that, Terry, with the ability to pick a guy that you actually need. And I, I know that you're not going to pass up someone that's going to strengthen a position, even if you already have a good player there. You've mentioned that before. How do you how do you strike that balance, not just in the first round, but some of those core guys that are going to be very important to you as you get into the, the second and third day, uh, and even your free agency, how do you balance that as far as taking best player available and or a need player? The critical part is having that discipline and actually doing that, actually move forward with that. And the first part of that is free agency and making sure we, we work as hard as possible to fill some needs in free agency. Because when you feel, when you're able to fill some needs in free agency, then that in the draft, it allows you to really have that discipline to really take the best players on the board. So I think that's the first aspect and we're gonna be faced with free agency and we're gonna work hard to really drill down on these players and spend a lot of time with the coaches evaluating these players and bringing in some players that fit some specific needs. And if we're able to do that, then as we get into the draft, look, we have to be disciplined regardless of what we get in free agency, but that's just when you're able to hit some needs in free agency, that allows you to be more disciplined as you get into the draft. Because it's all human nature and we have the needs in the back of our mind, but we have to make sure that we're disciplined in that area. Conversations you and Arthur have had about scheme, about how you want to attack both offensively and defensively. Take us behind the window or behind the curtain a little bit and talk to us a little bit about how those conversations gone as you begin to bl blend your ideas together as to what this team's going to look like. We've had a lot of those conversations, not only with Arthur, but with, with Dave Ragone regarding the offense, Marquise Williams regarding special teams and DMPs uh, regarding uh, the defense. And it's really fun having those conversations. You look at a guy like Dean Pease and all the great players he's coached and, and Marquise and, and, uh, and Dave, they're really smart guys, really intelligent, just like the head coach is. So it's fun having those conversations of, of exactly what they need. And we're going to have more of those conversations with, with the scouting staff, pro staff, college staff, them saying, hey, this is the profile of what we're looking for at this position. And now that being said, we, all, we also understand that we're looking for smart, tough, highly competitive football players th that with the right makeup, but also with the right skill set. So we're looking for good players. And it's about getting the right 53. So our coaches understand that, hey, we're gonna go find some good athletes and, and let's figure out a way to utilize them. And we know our coaches are gonna maximize them. So there's that balance of, hey, let's, let's find players that fit what we're looking for, but we're also looking for good football players. And that's what's important.